Want to know how much alcohol to serve your guests? Here's the best alcohol calculator for weddings. Part 2. Now that you have seen part 1 of the alcohol calculator, let's break down our calculations a little bit more. Let's say there's about 5 glasses of wine in a 750 milliliters wine bottle. About 12 servings in a 750 milliliter liquor bottle, and a bottle of beer would be one serving. This was one of the most helpful, clear table guides I found for determining how many portions a bottle of alcohol in variety of sizes can pour. The next thing you'll want to do is decide what you want your alcohol mix to be. While some sites advise you to use the percentage of 50% wine drinkers, 30% beer drinkers, and 20% spirit drinkers, we think it's safer to say, 50% of guests want wine, 25% want beer, and 25% want the heavy stuff. Bear in mind, you know your crowd better than anyone. So using all those calculations, here's how you would figure out just how much you need in total, assuming the percentages and everything else above is for a 100-person wedding. Wine for 100 guests would be 50% of guests, which equals 50 times the number of drinks total hours, which is 7. This equals 350. Divide the 350 by the number of glasses per wine bottle, which is 5. Altogether this equals 70 bottles of wine needed. Beer for 100 guests would be 25% of guests, which equals 25 times the number of drinks total hours, which is 7. This equals 175. Altogether this equals 175 bottles of beer needed. Liquor for cocktails for 100 guests. That's 25% of guests, which equals 25 times the number of drinks total hours, which equals 7. That's 175. Multiply the number of servings per 750 milliliters bottle, which equals 12. That's a total of 15 bottles of liquor needed. Round it up. The percentages you'll need for each will simply increase if you're only having beer and wine. While the numbers in the wedding alcohol calculator are approximations, I recommend that you consider your guests. Are they heavy drinkers? Simply adjust and add a few bottles to each of those figures. This wedding alcohol calculator is not meant to be exact, rather, it is intended to serve as a guide to help you figure out where to begin. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Stay tuned for part 3.